Oh, I guess we have too. But we have had a, a great tour with our good friends, Lover Boy. They are a great rock and roll band. They write great songs, and they are just great human beings. It's been such a pleasure being with them for the month of November. And there's a little added bonus, and that is that every night we get to hear our own private Lover Boy concert. Not bad. But you know, all good things must uh, come to an end. Loverboy and us, we're done for the year, but I have a feeling we're gonna be working together again. It's just too good, baby. So, uh, some of you may know this. For those of you who don't, this past October, I had my 73rd birthday. No secrets, man. I, you know, I, I keep it pretty simple. Just, just wake up in the morning, put one foot in front of the other, but I do the very best I can to live every moment.
bohemian woman haters club. I'm sorry, Spanky. I have to live my own life. right here in Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. And I hear y'all have a pretty good basketball team as well. They play basketball here too? Oh. Oh yeah, my man Anthony Davis, okay. Anyway, if you would take a moment Direct your attention to my left on the lead guitar from Framingham, Massachusetts. Say hello to Dave Amato. Now, for the past going on 36 years now, Dave has been making quite a name for himself as a rock and roll shredder, as a guy that likes to get out and play it loud, rock hard. That's who Dave is, baby. That's who you're gonna see all night tonight. 
But this next song shows a different side of Dave's playing. A little more of a melodic, little almost like a gospel feel. And uh, so check it out. This song is the final cut on side two of our High Infidelity record, a song called Wish You Were There. with their families back home. But as you tour, 
you become a family out here. Us, us, our crew, Lover Boy, the Lover Boy crew, the Pepper Entertainment promoters, we're all brothers out here, and I'm going to miss all of them. So we're going to play extra good tonight for you. Anyway, so um, to my right is a man who is the most recent uh, member of the ARIO touring entourage. He uh, spent some time, actually 12 years, as the bass guitarist for Elton John. And so if you will please welcome on the bass, Matt Bissonette. That's Greg's brother. Wow. Now Davis Matt is well known for, for his excellence as a musician, as a singer, for his sick sense of humor and his wonderful personality. But there's something about Matt that I learned for the first time this summer. I don't think anyone had realized it until me. What I realized is that Matt is also a master meteorologist. <laughs> Right? I mean, he can, and it, and it doesn't stop and with the weather. I mean, he can like predict the weather, but he can predict all kinds of things, man. It's, it's kind of, Our Matt, can, draw, can you too. explain it better? Because I, I, I'm not getting it right. It's hard to explain, but Joe, doesn't it seem kind of hot in here? It just seem hot to you guys? It feels pretty nice, right? All I know is I get paid big bucks to be the band's meteorologist. I wake up in the morning, they ask me, what's, what's it gonna look like tonight? And basically all it is, all I do is I look in the crowd and I see all you beautiful people. And I say, tonight's forecast is 100% chance of rock and roll, come on! One, two, three, four.
It's about singing live. It's about playing live. None of that recorded shit. You know, you know. You know it's real when I sing, I'll tell you what. Only because if it was recorded, it would sound so much better. <laughs> so, anyway, so, you know, when, uh, when bands are looking for subs, in other words, someone to kind of take over temporarily, sometimes permanently, depending on the situation, you call your brother musicians, you kind of take the temperature, see what's happening, see which dudes are available around the country, etc. And a couple years ago, that was the position we found ourselves in. Called some of our good buddies, and we were just we just kept coming up empty. And then I realized we needed to call someone who not only had great taste in music, but also had great taste in everything else. And that's when it occurred to me to call my old friend Rick Springfield. <laughs> Is he here? <laughs> so Rick says, KC, the search is over, my friend. I got your man. He plays an incredible Hammond organ. He's an awesome piano player. Sings great vocal harmonies. But the thing that Rick said that I think really sealed the deal was this dude is the most caring, kind, loving person that you'll ever meet. And he was right. So please, if you will, say hello to the happiest man in rock and roll on the grand piano, Derek Hilland.
they don't hate it, but I was recording anyway because it'll get views. And we used to make it down in Lexington back in those days. I don't remember where we played, but wherever it was, it was small and sweaty and freaking awesome. And this next song, uh, well, back in those days, um, our original lead guitar player, the late, great Gary Richrath. Yeah, man. Gary is the guy who, who found me back in 1972 and brought me into the band. He, uh, he saw something in me that I had not yet seen in myself. And uh, I owe it all to Gary Richrath. He taught me pretty much everything I know about being in a big time rock and roll band. And none of us would be here tonight if not for Gary. So let's put our hands together. And even though Gary's not with us anymore, you know his spirit lives on every time Ario Speedwagon takes the stage. So he's here tonight, friends. Now, this is a song that Gary wrote back in, in 73. And uh, the thing about this tune is that for some reason, I don't understand it, but the feel of this song, it's kind of a, kind of a swing shuffle kind of a feel. And it seems like the best drummers who can play this type of a thing all happen to come from Texas. Think about, think about ZZ Top. Think about, think about the fabulous T-Birds. Think about, think about Stevie Ray Vaughan and his band. I mean, those guys could swing. Well, guess what? It turns out that for the past 36 years, we have had a drummer who was born in Joaquin, Texas. And he knows how to swing. Say hello on the drums, the hit man, Brian Hitt. So this is, uh, this is Gary's five minute autobiography set to music, a song called Son of a Poor Man.
you come to your homes In your security lies In the bed of white home You act concerned But then all I turn away When a lady was raped on your doorstep today Your back's a dime But your back is still turned And your freaks are kind But your back is still turned
much changed everything back in 81.
Tonight, Derek Hill is on the keyboards. Brian Hill on the drums. On lead guitar, Dave Amato. And on lead vocals, Mr. Kevin Cronin. Let's hear it for the stage. And we always will. And by the way, 